now our problem is irrespective of measurement monitoring facilities how do we share ourselves how do we relate ourselves with the rainfall and the the rainfall and the water stress of a region is of a prime importance whereas people themselves can able to understand there is a low rainfall and there is likely to be a problem in this type of villages. So, for that purpose what is needed is availability from the rainfall then demand from that rainfall if this type of amount of rainfall is there then my water needs may not be fulfilled for the year. So, I had to be very cautious. So, this caution can trigger their conservative approach or efforts to bring additional water for their survival is possible that is what is being done in this slide. So, what is done in this slide is if it is going to be a 200 millimeters of rainfall which falls over the entire area and having this area has got this many different tanks are there. Now, what we try to do was what is the storage possible what is the water collection potential of these villages then what is the amount of storages which they can do it. So, the left out is further utility. Now, it looks like that uh, based on the calculation estimations if there is going to be a 200 millimeters of rainfall uh, there is going to be in the red color areas the adequacy will be 75 percentage of the requirements are not going to be filled up. Whereas, in this areas where the requirements are there only 25 percentage is not going to be filled up. Whereas, there is slight increase it is either requirements are felt or requirements are partly felt that is another way of expressing that adequacy of a village under a particular annual rainfall conditions. This is 200 millimeters next approach is 300 millimeters when you see this 300 millimeters the requirement and rainfall amount. So, it goes on varies instead of a 3 classes we would be able to see more classes it will be 50 to 60 and 25 to 50 these are all the mu classes that this is nothing but if it is your requirement availability is 100 your requirement is going to be 125 then there is going to be a 25 percentage of water which is deficit. So, this way this uh, rainfall requirement of a village can be identified. Now, this is under 400 millimeters this will be under 500 millimeters. So, when you move from 200 millimeters towards 500 millimeters and 600 and 700. So, we you see majority of the villages are just self sufficient except a few activities here and there. So, these are all the local uh, problems. So, what it, you understand by this what we understand by this way is if there is going to be a 700 millimeters of rainfall collected by the entire village area and then stored in these tanks then the water requirements of these crops as well as the uh, human requirements are met. So, that drought conditions will not be there in these areas. So, this is how this study can give a relationship between the rainfall amount and the requirement amount which we have explained earlier about the requirements about the supply and how much should be there. The only crux in this type of study is it is assumed the rainfall is uniform one thing. Second thing is whatever the area which the water gets collected within these large areas are, are available for storage. So, there may be some variations here and there this can be done on a individual village basis and it could be further refined further can be taken the management practices we will be able to take it up further. So, as you say 900 millimeters is the right kind of rainfall where it everything is green or the shortages are less. So, when you see that as you move up 800 900 
there is an additional greater than 25 percentage is an excess which can share it up with others. So, what we can have including in the drier conditions or a semi arid conditions, we could able to store collect all the rainfall whether it is a localized or it is where on a space it is going to vary the all the we can make efforts to collect the surface runoff, try to store it on the tanks and wherever it is storage facilities and then make use of it. If you try to do it on a local level, local water self sufficiency could be achieved if not for the uh, crop and drinking water, at least drinking water could be taken care and if the rain dry crops are grown in those areas, the water requirements can also be fulfilled before it they shift to the cash crops or water intensive crops. Thank you.